Moving on with 88 Films uh, Species box set, we have part two from 1998. Um, again, it seems to have a fairly decent budget about this one. Uh, it's lost a lot of uh, structure and, and common sense uh, and decent plot. It becomes a little bit sillier, this one. But bear with me here, because I think Species 2 could be more entertaining than the first one. They could fuck the human race into extinction. It's condensed to a 93 minute runtime, which I feel as if these movies are perfect round about that time. We get back a couple of characters from the first one. We've got Michael Madsen back again, Marge Heldgenberger, and we've got Natasha Henstrich, who's now playing Eve, a kind of second generation version of Syl. Again, she uh, goes a couple of times without clothes, but most of the time she's dressed um, appropriately for this movie. And it starts off with a space mission. We get to see three people, uh, astronauts, landing on Mars, uh, taking soil samples. Uh, but things aren't quite right. And one of these soil samples seems to come alive in the ship, oozing out of it and crawling across the floor seems to attack the three astronauts. Uh, we jump a moment uh, of minutes to the astronauts waking up, not realising what's happened as they travel back to Earth. Going through all their quarantine, being told that they can't have sex for 11 days, which everybody's really aggrieved about, and then they get to go about their business. But we get to know that something strange has happened. They have transformed, changed. An alien creature has invaded their body somehow and we kind of get our three astronauts back on earth and the main one is Patrick who seems to be a, a sex machine just climbing through the women <laughs> literally destroying them and this one really really ramps up the gore and the effects and I think that's what makes it really memorable for me. The effects in this one are downright awesome. Absolutely fantastic. The practical effects are amazing. There's a wonderful sequence early on in the movie where Patrick uh, has a threesome with these two women. Um, and while he's uh, just had sex with one, he's on to the next one, uh, he starts to see his body changing and his back morphing and things coming out as the women's freaking out. Uh, not that the other women can help him because she's suddenly starting to sprout a pregnant belly before an alien child bursts from her in such a fantastic, grotesque, practical, effect-laden awesomeness. It's just terrific. <laughs> um, and, and then we kind of get our crew back together. Now, uh, Marge Helgenberger's character seems to have created Eve. She is working with the, the company from the first one. She should know better. And Michael Madsen makes sure to tell her off at some point. But again, the dialogue is um, it's stiff. Uh, it's, it's kind of tropey. It's directionless at some points. It just, the dialogue just is stilted at the best of times. Hey, Laura. Correct me if I'm wrong, are you involved in this crazy bullshit? And some of the character motivations are just awful. There's a moment where Michael Madsen and Helgen Berger meet together for the first time since the first movie and it's just off. It just feels off. She instantly goes into a triate and, and shouting and it's something that was unusual for the character. Michael Madsen just seems to be happy to be cashing a paycheck. Uh, together these two guys are going to try and work with uh, Eve to stop Patrick who is farming the community. Um, there is an awesome line from Michael Madsen. They could fuck the human race into extinction. Which just explains so much of the movie for me because Patrick is going about just uh, assaulting women. Now this is the kind of biggest change from the first one whereas we had Eve looking for a mate, we have Patrick physically assaulting people. He is attacking women uh, throughout the movie. Uh, whether it be prostitutes or people he grabs off the street, he tries to kidnap somebody out of a, a supermarket at one point. He is a sexual predator. 
um, who will destroy these women uh, and take the offspring away. He is collecting a small army of his species, young children as they develop. It's an awesome kind of twist uh, in addition to the, the first story. And what I like about this one is the finale really sticks it. But isn't the first one, it feels almost tacked on. It's not a great finale. The build-up is better uh, than the finale in the first one. This one, we have a rousing finish here where it becomes effects heavy. You get the alien creature in all its glory. You get tentacles and ooze and blood and guts. Flamethrowers and fire and gunshots and all the action nonsense that you want in these kind of films that I do anyway and I had an absolute whale of a time with Species 2. Is it better than the first one? No. I'd say the plot's a little bit sillier, I'd say the dialogue's definitely more ludicrous but then that adds to my enjoyment. The effects are way better and I just feel that I get more entertainment from Species 2 than I did from the first one and I like the first one a lot terrific uh, film highly recommended um, if you like your bad movies that are great Species 2 is definitely one of those I am enthused uh, I am a little bit wary but excited to move on to Species 3 I'm hoping we get something decent I'm good. I've got a feeling the budget's going to drop dramatically which could impact the movie but we'll see when we get there here we are into the disc of Species 2 let's go into the special features we have an audio commentary with the director Peter Medak. We have Creature Creations, The Effects of Species 2, which is just over 28 minutes, just under 29. Uh, really good going into how they made the effects, the practicality of them. If you're a fan of the effects in this movie, which I am, this was fascinating. Then we have Alien Evolutions with Chris Brancato which is 19 minutes in length, talking to the director of the movie. And this is one of those guys that's just captivating to listen to. A fascinating insight to how he got the job, how they were doing two scripts at once, how his one, the evolution of that, terrific. Then we have special effects outtakes and behind the scenes footage, which is 13 minutes, 32 seconds. And this is lots of, uh, well, as it says, outtakes of gore-filled sequences, which are really pretty good, although it is kind of standard def and very grainy and, and not the best quality, but interesting to see. Next up, we have Species 2, Eve of Destruction, which at 11 minutes 53 is basically focusing on the film, talking heads, talking ab about Natasha Henstridge and her role of uh, Eve in this one. Next up we have additional unseen footage, which is basically outtakes again without the gore, which is 8 minutes and 2 seconds. Then we have the trailer at 2 minutes 11 seconds and the stills gallery. And that is it for Species 2. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. Hit the like button because it really helps the channel and I need all the help I can get, which is why you can join the membership or the Patreon program if you want to support me financially, which would be amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.